Hey everybody, welcome to Los Feliz Atwater Village. Josh and Brad, Keys to LA. First things first, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Today we are at a two and a half million dollar house. We're at media day, we're doing all of our stuff to get ready for listing. We got our cameraman, we already flew the drone. Really excited to show you around. We're gonna turn it back to Brad for some history. Come on in. So I love this house. This house was the inspiration for my project on Maywood and Eagle Rock. I have seen a lot of properties, but I have not seen a lot of properties done this well and with this awesome of an ADU. So Josh, come walk with me back to the ADU. I want to show you what I'm talking about. Freestanding, separate structure, large garage, and we'll show you how large this garage is. And two bedroom ADU on top, just really awesome layout. It's really perfect. It's like, it's, it's a perfect, perfect property. Great garage space, uses a playroom for the kids. And then two bedroom uh, apartment up top. Come on, let's go check that out. Got laundry right here. Got solar up top on the roof, which was added, which is awesome. You'll see that in my awesome drone footage. You're welcome. If I could figure out how to open this gate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the gate for him. Josh, stay out of it, I got it. <laughs> but really awesome, awesome apartment. Potential for income here, I clocked this probably between $3,500 and $4,000 if it was rented individually. As you can see, we are in the heart of Atwater Village. Just an awesome, awesome unit. So we're here in the apartment upstairs and really awesome little unit. Clean, awesome light oak floors. These look like my floors of like white oak Pearson, all this a little gray tinge. Bertazzoni fridge. Uh, this developer is also a realtor. He's, a, he's someone I know, like, a friend of mine. Brandon, I brought you with me. Shout out to Brandon Haft. This is the marketing materials from when he sold it. He did a great job on this property. I like seeing this property two years after. It's been used by a family and it is still in great shape. Great tile work here, I love this. Little mosaic su subway tile. Gold hinges, it's just a really well done property. A lot of people flip properties and they don't spend enough money, they don't put in the time. They're only concerned about profit. And this is just a really quality product. Here's one of the two bedrooms right here. Currently the owner's using this as one of their offices. Bedroom here, automatic blinds everywhere. Where's the light fixture? Come on, guy. I don't know. We believe you. We believe you? Right. Yeah, we believe you. That's fine. They go up and down. Peloton. I make Josh ride this every day for discipline. <laughs> if you- Shout out Cody Rigsby. Shout out Cody Rigsby. <laughs> <laughs> My handle is bkeys84. What's yours, Josh? From Conair, as kicker, A-Z-Z. -Z. <laughs> if you're watching this, you understand why I'm frustrated every day. <laughs> Doctor, good to see you. She sure is beautiful. Josh, since you quoted Conair, what was Nicolas Cage's character name in Conair? Cameron Poe. You had Monica Potter in there, you had Malkovich, you had Bing Rand, Danny Trace, Andre Hope, Cusack. I mean, what Dave a- Dave Chappelle! Dave Chappelle. What a film. What a film. But I love this house. I like the modern Cape Cod tiles. I like everything about it. And so we said that this property was worth two and a half million dollars, which it is, but we're actually filming this today for rent and we are gonna put this up for lease for $10,000. $10,000 all together for 6,500 and 3,500. We haven't quite decided exactly, but I think this is a $10,000 property because if there's anything COVID taught us, people wanna work at home and people will pay for workspace and there is excellent workspace in that garage, excellent works, workspace above that garage. And this is just a killer property. I'm wearing my backpack because the Uber delivered my drone. Josh did do some drone footage. I have a new drone that I want to try out. I'm going to see who's better. And we're going to let you know in the video whose drone footage was used. <laughs> we're going to go inside the house and bother Noel, who's taking pictures, because it's fun to bother Noel. Noel Kleiman, fantastic photographer. All right, so we're in the main house. Beautiful, beautiful. Kind of modern meets craftsman, which I love. Again, shout out Brendan Half. He just did a great job. Bertazzoni stainless appliances, Carrera marble looking countertops. But I just love this house. It's just a great, great house. Great execution. No square footage is wasted here. The main house is a little over 1,300 square feet with two, three bedrooms and two baths. I love the color styling. As we get to redo my house, I'm gonna have to try to convince my wife to do something similar. She is more of a light and bright 
And I do like a little bit darker colors sometimes. And I certainly like the way they did these colors here. So just a really great execution. Another bedroom and then the master. And then of course, the master bathroom, which is awesome. Just a really, really great house. What I like most about this house and in conclusion is that it's not just updated. It doesn't just have a cool style, but it's really, 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 really functional. And then you have this awesome garage flex space AU. Perfect amount of backyard. They have an EV charger. And as someone who sees houses every day, this is one you don't want to miss. And of course, one of the owners is a musician. He's a jazz musician. Got the baby grand up front. Love that. I think one with the baby grand. And maybe a little... I did not stick with piano lessons. With that, like and subscribe, ring the bell. See you later.